Hello everyone, this is Wang Geek Guy, and in this video, I will show you how I made the soft jobs for your lathe. In my case, uh, I have to say that I am not mechanical engineer, I am not technician, I am, my field is the electronics, so I will show you how I did this. Of course, there are a lot of methods. I learned this from one channel uh, from YouTube that I will provide you the link on the description. So I did this by myself and I would like to explain you how I did it. Basically, my lathe is a small lathe, it's 100 uh, millimeter diameter chuck so the problem is that it's not easy to find this kind of jabs by default i mean these uh, removable jabs so the thing you need to do is to buy something like this but uh, for 100 millimeter chuck this is for six yeah chuck 100 millimeter that's why it's, it's smaller but yeah it's this one came like this you can see and the the good point of this one is that you can mill them because they are not tempered in case of the uh, default jaw from the lathe this kind of material is still tempered or hardened so it's not possible uh, friendly speaking to mill this so the good option is to buy this kind of uh, yeah, soft jobs that a lot of people use it like they are just turning or mill the shape of the uh, part that you want to fix with them and you directly use them till you don't have more material but the, the good point of this one is that you can exchange the top the superior part and also you can change the material of this uh, superior or high part and the good point is that with this one when we are uh, turning aluminium you can mark your, your parts because this is uh, harder than the aluminium but with this one no with this one we don't have that problem because this is aluminium itself so it's safer when we don't want to mark the parts other uh, advantage is that when we use this kind of jobs we can fix a bigger let's say bigger uh, part on your lathe because you can see here that the limit of this one is fixed here but in this case we could turn this part of aluminium till here and having a bigger diameter part in our chuck so we will start basically i have a problem with this video so you will see at the starting that i have started with this like this part with this shape already done these mills that you can see here that i have removed a part this is like uh, three millimeters deep and the wider or the width of this one is 10 millimeter okay between here and here so by this way you have a really good fixation point for the insert that we will uh, put on top so basically knowing this you just need to cut the the jaw the soft jaw in this way mill the top and take the taster or yeah it doesn't matter but take the the measure and mill a bit here a bit here and you will have this shape and now we will continue with this video basically what we are gonna do now is to uh, prepare the shape of this base to hold the job itself so i am taking measurements with the hammer finding the edge of the piece and taking these measurements to the dire O and yeah you can use as well your uh, edge finder if you don't have the hammer it's not a problem so uh, later on we will use this uh, six flutes end mill eight millimeters to mill the kiss it so by this way we will be able to lock the 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 top part of this jazz and it won't move so you can see here that the result is quite good and now we will uh, do a hole and uh, thread in order to be able to fix the kale to this uh, to this uh, part otherwise we will have this uh, part moving and we don't want this so basically I am using my hand to uh, move the, ta the tap and do the thread is not difficult and later on we will do mm, two threads uh, m6 i am using this gouge because by this way i can know which is the, the height of the drill and go inside 
the distance that I want and later on I can have do the same with the tap it's quite useful because you can see that uh, you can place the gouge and later on go below the, the width of the gouge and you have just the drill on level so I am doing the holes uh, countersinking and doing the same with the gouge and the uh, tap by this way I can place inside the tap the same size that I have the the drill the hole this is really useful otherwise maybe we can break the tap and this is not good <laughs> so I am doing here the, the second hole is not a difficult task and counter sinking and the same the third just taking some measurements with the DRO select your your position and uh, you can later on transfer to the top side so I repeat this on the three uh, jazz you can see that the result at least uh, I think it's, it's quite uh, good enough <laughs> so this is the key still uh, eight millimeters and we will do the hole on the key with the center drill the drill of 3.1 millimeter and the counterbore I have used 3.1 instead 3 because I prefer to have some gap in order to be able to move a bit the screw in case it's needed because of the tolerance. I am taking the edge as well here with the hammer in order to be able to know the exactly center of the of the part that as I told you you can use other edge fingers it's not a it's not a problem. And the same process, uh, centering, drilling and doing this counterbore with this tool which is quite good, I bought in Aliexpress and you can see the result, it's uh, perfect. So now we have everything with uh, a screw inside of the key and all together to the jaw, so it's quite straightforward, nothing difficult and later on we will remove the extra material that we have on the uh, key because I mean this is not really needed I will say but uh, it would be better or at the end the result would be more compact and the same uh, end mill this 8mm 6 flutes I know that is not the best for this purpose but I have been using this I have just received this week a bit more of two flutes because for still they are better so you can see the result is quite well as well and yeah that's all we have already prepared the base for the upper part of the jaw that uh, I will show you how to do this uh, on the next video but we have mainly the base of this one we need to copy just the shape on the other part in this case I will do from aluminium you will see that uh, we can do a different different sides but yeah this will be done in the next video so please if you like the video press like subscribe to the channel and yeah of course see you next week ciao ciao